So um, we're the Golden Mango team, and we basically um, sell smoothies and soil. We just go back, so we don't have any land here, we don't have enough money, so we have everything going in our house. We don't do in-house um, sales, we only do on delivery. So we're very heavily reliant on people calling us or reaching us through our social media pages. Um, so for us, using tech, the first few things that we noticed were really good. You could reach a wide range of people anywhere without having to see them physically. So people just go to Google Mango on Facebook and they can just uh, order for their smoothies or their frozen yogurt and get delivered to them. Um, it's also more efficient for us, so um, it's, there's no manual labor of having to buy each person or call each person. You could call each person, but then the manual labor is reduced. Um, we got free resources, so we're trying out new recipes for smoothies, and we got them online for free, which is really cool, that's what's on the internet. Um, and it was also really timely. When we reach out to people, they get back to us um, in time. Um, the, curve, the cons for us were that we all had to get points, and we can make it. And that also led us to the problem we had when we had a major network problem. We had to get other internet health service providers. We needed to get all the networks, so from Tigo to MTN and Airtel. That's really expensive for us. And um, there was a high dependency on third parties, so there was a time Facebook was down. What were we supposed to do? And our web developer, well, he just built on us one day high dependency because we couldn't do it ourselves. Um, I guess that pretty much sums up everything in the way. Okay. Because it's tough to follow it. So, we'll talk a pros and cons and then we'll introduce our company. So, some of the pros we discussed uh, were some of the things that Rita um, uh, presented. Uh, technology is good because it saves a lot of time uh, on tasks, it makes it more efficient. Uh, you're able to reach people in different countries and across different socioeconomic groups, uh, people that you might not necessarily have uh, uh, seen as your potential clients. In terms of uh, cons, uh, there's misuse or abuse. Uh, so your uh, your team can decide to go on Facebook and live there that day. Uh, also, uh, technology is dependent on electricity and internet, which, as we know in Ghana, is not. Reliable. Um, also, your, your location determines how effective uh, technology is for you. Uh, one of the things that we discussed is the fact that, let's say, we have an e commerce, uh, e -commerce site here in Ghana, uh, people will do Facebook and they'll do WhatsApp, but they can buy something online without having seen it in person, physically. So, that, those are some of the, the challenges that come along with technology. So, we are Black Star PR. <laughs> Uh, so obviously we are a public relations and marketing company. Uh, we, we work with startups, uh, and yes, we just moved back as well. Uh, so we're, we're new to the whole terrain. So uh, we use technology to track startups and look for potential clients. We use it to research uh, campaigns online that have been successful and sort of um, use them as a template for some of the, uh, some of the campaigns we come up with for our clients. Uh, we use it to increase domestic uh, and global visibility by putting some of, uh, some of the projects that we're working on currently on our website so people can see who we're working with, what we've done, etc. Five seconds. Okay. Um, uh, in terms of uh, networking issues, yes. I mean, the way to go is to always have an alternative. Um, in Ghana, that's, that's the only you know, solution. Thank you. So, Rita, you want to say something? Yes. Ten seconds. Yeah. Wow. Well, I just want to say that you can uh, participate in anything. Your, I love your business ideas and such stuff on some things that, you know, we didn't discuss. And I appreciate that. So, let me talk about it. And thank you for having me as part of this phenomenal program. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rita. So, uh, by the way, I want to do a census. Um, how many of you have 
How many of you just came back? Just came back. Oh, you just did <laughs> okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Yes. How long you just came back? No. No. Yes. 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 Two years. Two years. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. How many of you came back three years ago? Three years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. A year ago. Seven months ago. Three months ago. Please, if you came back uh, under six months, uh, you are exempt. And if you came back any time in the last six months, you've been here. They're not telling us you came back. Yes, that's the point. You see, the reason I did the census, the reason I did the census actually is to find out how many of us have been here all our lives. Yeah, yeah, and I'm probably one. Yeah, and, and the point is, you see, it's, it's reflecting in, in our language, in our understanding, in our attitude and everything, but I want you to see yourself as having been here like all of that. That's the only way we can solve the problems we face. It's, it's easier to bring a rant about coming back and frustrations and all of that. If you've been here all your life, you have probably adapted and you know how to do it better, right? So let's take that posture. Okay, so the next um, on the agenda, if you got it, is to do apps. But we've just finished technology, right? We want to give ourselves a break. The next person who's going to speak is going to talk about key considerations uh, in starting up a business. And he is he's a management consultant and he's an analyst. He teaches at Game Park. He does that full time. He used to teach at the uh, MDPI, Management Development and Productivity Institute. What a long name. <laughs> he knows what he does there. But he's passionate about uh, open source and more so women's uh, use, involvement, participation in open source. And so he's probably going to talk about uh, Linux or Linux interface. Um, he's going to talk about communication, PBX, server. GSM networks and stuff like that. But, I mean, those are, as <laughs> part of his credentials, he, he is a management consultant. So he's probably going to touch on some of the points that you raised in your exercise, um, which ties in with technology and also with starting up a business. So, I see, okay, there are only three gentlemen, so when I, I don't feel comfortable saying ladies, <laughs> all of us are ladies for today. <laughs> Ladies, let's put our hands together for Sandra Asante. For we know that you are there. Okay, thank you very much. Great introductions. Uh, but let me start the other way around. Uh, you heard a lot about me. Let me hear about you. Some of you are just coming. And I'm not sure who's participating because some people are close and some people are far away. So I don't know whether they need to get up a little closer. And you know when some of you were speaking and introducing yourselves, Victor did that. I thought that was a fantastic way to talk about it. I didn't hear what you were saying. Yes, I didn't hear what you were saying. So I'm going to give us another chance. And that also, you know, also did. So please, you don't need to speak too loud because now we have a mic. At least try to speak slowly and clearly. I hope I'm speaking clearly. Hi, my name is Stella. I'm here because I want to start a E-commerce uh, retail for after building and accessories. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hello, I'm a me. I've been here all my life. I'm a me. I've been here from the Today, a spiel into mobile and production. We are encouraging all these stories to technology developing mobile apps, which we will look at. And this will encourage some other ladies out there to also come up with great ideas, which will support your businesses in any of the other. I'm working with mobile web Thank you. Hi, my name is Thelma I came here about a year ago from um, the fellowship project having to do with youth development and specifically providing um, high school students with internship opportunities. And while I've been here, currently I'm also working with something called the Cold School, which is run out of iSpace. It's called the Cold School. It's going on right now in the Room is um, providing people with um, web development skills. Hi, my name is Tony. I work at Northwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology. We train software entrepreneurs and we also incubate them, fund them, mentor them, help them on their businesses. But I'm here because of something else I do. It's called Co Founder, um, it's a female entrepreneurship community. And like I said before, I'm on a COVID mission. <laughs> To take pictures of everybody here for International Women's Day that's this Sunday. So when we're in a break, I will be approaching you one after the other. Please don't run away from me. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Salaki. Um, I'm a co-founder of a company called JSET Consulting, and we do bookkeeping services for startups. So, Good morning, I'm Alison Speed. I am here to start the business. I'm Alison Speed, and I'm here to start a restaurant, and I've been here three months. Hello, my name is Amelia. I'm a writer and a publisher. I write children's storybooks and textbooks. Oh, right. Hello again, I'm Madonna. Uh, I'm the founder and creative director of Raffia. Um, we use Atakari, Bunda Blog, uh, to make contemporary women's wear. Hello, my name is Jupa, and I'm the founder of Jupa.com, which is an e commerce site for all things quality and made. So what I do on a regular basis, um, I just find people who are making quality stuff and provide a platform to showcase their things. Hi, yeah. I'm Vita Kisi. Um, I operate a consultant and services company here and specialize in marketing, training and recruiting services. I've been here for almost two years, so I'm no longer a newbie. Thank you for making me aware of that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Hello, my name is Mary Jane, and I'm helping with the social media. That's why I'm here. I'm just laughing, so I'm also helping. I'm new to this group. Yeah. Hello, my name is Augustine. Uh, we set up their own businesses in the mobile field. 
we see a lot of mobile phones, but how many applications do local citizens use to do their business? Okay, that's where we come from. And I'm here to know. Thank you. Fantastic. I think you heard about me already. I'm not there to help. <laughs> now, having such a wonderful group here, why do you need me? Hello? Are you listening to me? Yes. Having such a wonderful group here, why do you need me? Tell me, do I have the expert? No, I don't think so. But what I'm trying to do is all the stuff that you know already, all the people that you have here, I'm trying to put everything together. Is that what you mean? I was asked to do key considerations. And I said, no, 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 this is not the kind of stuff I do sometimes. I've got it all there. It gets a bit heavy. So let me make it very light. Let me make it very simple. Because I think we've got it all here already. We just really don't know. So let me just take, okay, and start off from here. Basically, what I can see from everybody here, everybody has an idea. Some people have taken it beyond the idea and their businesses are up and running. I think I've got that right. Okay, so what are some of the key considerations you should have? Remember, I really kept it very simple. So some are tight it out already. The first thing is the marketing. So there's a story in the bell where I'm asking, why do you need me? Who says she's doing marketing? Somebody said they provide certain services here. Yeah. What did you say you do? Okay, so that's about the social media and management. I think you said you do marketing as well. Yeah, so if you have problems with marketing, I think you've got some people here who can do it for you. Okay, then human resource management. I think you said you do that. She does human resource management. And you know, as she tells me about it, I'm wondering how well is it working? Because I've heard some horror stories on the other side of the world. I've been here all the time anyway, but of course we've all traveled <laughs> and this thing. Then financial management. Um, I know one or two entrepreneurs. Yes, so somebody's tapping here already. Okay, so she says she does what? Oh, did, did you all get it at the back? Did you get it? She says she does what? You know what that is? Booking, you got it, yes, right. Because I know a, a number of entrepreneurs, they can't do their booking. They just can't do their accounts. And I can't believe it. How can you not do your accounts? But of course, it works in Ghana, you know. <laughs> you can still get away with it. <laughs> you can still get away with it. After all, we are doing small businesses. And once you keep a low profile in Ghana, you don't show up your face. Nobody minds you, you know. But if you want to be out there speaking, talking, you better get your books right. I assure you, they'll come after you. <laughs> yes, you'll be surprised. And I can tell you a story uh, where, um, okay, one of the companies I'm part of, and we were here in ice space, and we employed somebody who's not a Ghanaian. Guess who came up to us? Immigration. Yes. So if you have a low profile, and he does his training in a small little restaurant somewhere, or right in his room, you know, his chamber and hall somewhere. That's cool. It works. But you step out somewhere, you have a higher profile, people are seeing you. Make sure you get your HR right. Make sure you get your books right. Make sure you get your operations working properly. You know, remember one day they went after no house and dynasty and all the rest. They will come after you. Believe you me, this is done. So these are some of the things you need to learn. If you're low profile, nobody sees you, nobody hears you. And like I told you, I was an independent management consultant. No, nobody's going to trouble you. Yeah, you know I mean? But, you know, when we moved over from a military government to a civilian government, I started going on radio and TV, which are great, a lot. And you need to be careful because you are exercising the powers that, you know, make sure you get your accounts right and all that. Otherwise, I told you, they will come after you. And you have a low profile. I, I know one, um, what is it? Is it Colonial Restaurant? I, I saw it at Max, yes, Max, is it Max Mark? ASC Mall at the Airport Presidential. Cape or something, Cape or I don't know what I'm I don't even know where their location is. What? Okay, so they are there, but they are hidden. So nobody's going to mind you. Nobody's going to care about you. But you come out, you'll be in deep trouble. 
I remember an internet service provider, again, very low profile. Nobody knew about them. They were doing their own thing. They had fantastic speed. So I told them, how come you guys are hiding? Little did I know, I think they were doing some points about hiding. Well, I remember. You remember, eh? The minute they came out, they were put in prison and they were shut down. No, you at the time, what's the idea? Well, I'm just telling you what it is. I said, if you keep a low profile, no problem. You can get away with it this time. But you show up a bit, people begin to see you. Please make sure you're doing the right things. And one of the things I do ask you to talk about was tax. I said, I don't really care about tax. <laughs> so you better get an expert. But the lovely thing today I'm hearing today is that there's somebody here to do your marketing and HR. There's somebody here to do your PA and the rest. There's somebody out there who wants to do your bookkeeping. So why do you need me? Maybe it's to put it all together. So I put the four basic points that I always talk about. Marketing, HR, finance, and then your operations. And maybe I'll do the same as, I'll take a leaf out of Rita's book. You need to put all these things down, the basic points I give you. But beyond putting it down, start writing up your own stuff according to these points. Okay, so, uh, what should I do? So let me go to the first, next one. I'll leave this as well. I saw a saying somewhere. The only thing that matters is happy, paying customers. I think it's very important for the tech world, where you are putting all these apps out there. I don't know how important it is. But the question is, what is your product? What is your service? What is this PA thing you are doing? Do people understand it? What should you say? What, what's the other way you could use? Uh, what, what's the other way? Executive secretary? Uh, executive assistant? A I, I lot of people won't understand it. At least that's what I get. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Whatever it is, just to get to communicate with people so they know what you are doing. I'm asking the first question. What is your product? Okay. Are you actually making that laundry soap you're talking about? Is it out there? Yeah, we heard about it, but anyway, that's okay. <laughs> this human resource management thing, how is it going? How is, it? is it the smoothies? I, I can't remember everybody. The bookkeeping is simple. I hope we all, we all get that one. Um, uh, is it what? I didn't, I didn't quite get the all. Yes. Um, it's it Fashion. Fashion. Okay. Everything quality. What are you talking about when you need everything quality? Do you mean, I'm not, so write down whatever your products are. Is it quality shoes? Is it quality shirts? I hope everybody is writing that. Everybody must have some product out there for me on your shoes. You should have a product. Then you know you have a business. Okay. The next is the price. What does it cost? How much does those smoothies cost? How much? How much does your bookkeeping service cost? You must have a price for me, you know. That's what most guys like, eh, you know, put a number down. If it's 10 cities, it's 10 cities. If it's a thousand cities, it's a thousand cities. Put a number down. Okay? So we are working on it. We are getting there somehow. So next is place. Actually, place is distribution management. And that's the nice thing about technology. It means you are everywhere. But of course, can you deliver everywhere? So one kind of person who don't have here is a logistics person. That is a big thing on its own. You know, getting the product to the customer, especially in this part of the world. It's not obvious. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Okay. And then the promotion part. Did I hear somebody was doing something free? Oh, I didn't hear you well. On your food side. Sorry, did I hear you doing something free? Oh, I didn't hear you well. No, no. No, 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 I heard something, you know. Because in promotional, these days we hear a lot of buy one, get one free. That's the promotion thing I'm talking about. And of course, I'm talking about advertising channel. If you can get that sorted out, wow, your marketing is sorted out. Easy, isn't it? Very simple. It's on basis that we haven't got right, so we need to get those things right. And most of the time when I talk about marketing, people say, oh, but the advertising is expensive. 
simple lives. They are very cheap. I don't know why, we find it so difficult to do. I've seen businesses just close down because I just think they are not doing their advertising. And you give them the ideas, but I don't know why, it's very difficult. You have to get out there and get the flies. But once you get the flies, you have to distribute those flies. And sometimes, this is so areas, but that's because they're very high chance. But you've got to get down there and out those flyers. I don't know whether it's difficult to do. You must do it. You must get it going. Okay. So that's for my marketing. Anything anybody wants to ask me? We are fine. Okay. Yes? Most flyers won't translate into anything. Hello. Welcome to the real world. The response rates are supposed to be about 3% in some areas. So you get 100 out, you get 3. So if you only want 3 customers, you can put out 100. It's all in the numbers. And normally, I, I do very cheap flyers. Flyers just post them out of your, get a ring of paper, do, cut them up into two sheets, you know, so I give you a thousand or something like that, and push it out there. So I'm expecting, what, 30 customers? Let's do it. Yes, yes. Wow, that's already tells me. <laughs> just do it. I just see too many businesses around. They look fantastic to me, but I can see they're not gaining any cash. Yeah, because you need to gain that cash, you need to gain the class, push out those things far. They get their friends to come out in the early days and so on and so forth. You can't stick with this, my friends. You need to go to a wider audience. Get traction, get it back. I just see it all the time. You just see it. You need to get out there, you need to push, you need to push, you need to push. Just get people to know that this is what I have. And people have fantastic things on offer, like you all have here. But who knows about it? No one. And in Ghana, well, this is where they, I just came. It's an, an important thing. I, I hear out there your friends help you with your business. I don't know if it's true. Those of you are like that. But here, they want freebies. <laughs> so be careful. Be very careful. So, so, so that's my thing. Just go out and do it. Yes? At what point do you start with clients? Is it when you start the business or when you have the products working? You can even get the flyers before you start the business. Okay? What, I'm, uh, what you normally do is the launches. So the day you do the launch, you should be out there. You know? Um, of course, on the tech side, um, you don't even have to have a product on the tech side. Because sometimes the tech side, you need money to... Okay, recently I was in a meeting, and this guy came in from the US. My guy is good. He can, what I'll say, rap. So he sent me an email with $500,000. Okay, fine. So I go for this meeting at the hotel, and um, okay, we need to have a second meeting because he needs to see the app work. So he flies back in the second time. And really, I don't know what's going on. I'm not a tech guy, that's why I'm a management consultant. And they show all this stuff and so on and so forth. They are just screens. People understand screens, you know. It's not the real app which works, but it's more apps which shows you what the thing you like and the thing is actually there. So just to answer your question, sometimes the thing is not even working. And if you didn't get the money, you can. <laughs> just to let you know that sometimes even before the thing is ready, you can begin to let people know out there that this is what you are trying to do, this is what you are going to do. So we are fine. Out. Okay, then let me somehow continue. And move on. So everybody has at least five. Uh -huh, yes. You're talking about selling out of that people with the strength. Yes. And we have this issue where people want to be a track record. Why do you pay a track record? Track record. Great. What have you done before? Yes, that's the question. No, no, not my question. I'm asking you. What have you done before? In my business? Anything. Just what have you done before? Yes, so that's what's last level. Yeah, but then they want to see more, like they want to say what they like in terms of revenue like, okay. and everything. Okay. So once I decided to leave my nice to start this business, um, one of the things I wanted to do uh, was to, to 
to use technology and strategy to help business with you. That's, the, that's what I'm passionate about, right? But um, I'm from a technical background. Now, I led strategy in a different place than I worked on. But I didn't have any strategy practice. So I did, I did a couple of courses. I, I, I've done a practice, but I did a couple of courses on Coursera Extra Extra. And then I practiced on my friends. I've got a lot of friends that own their own business. So I can run you a strategy session, you just need to run me lunch, right? <laughs> <laughs> and for about a year, I would go into, on sort of the beginning of the year, end of the year, I would go into, I was in charge, I'd go in, I'll sit with the management team, this is companies maybe three to five years, so that was, that's my target market, right? And I would help them with a the strategy, sometimes I'd be like reading the notes, like, you know, and over a year, Right? So now when I when I when I say to people, because I have the, the technical work, I could list you from here to heaven, right? I've worked in whatever Sarah, you're in Ghana, UK, I've got systems that was million, I've got systems that was hundreds, right? But now when I go and I talk about I use technology and strategy, I can tell you I I have done strategy for this company and that company and that company. Nobody knows how to get paid for it, right? So some, that was my approach. I knew I would get asked that question. That was my approach. But also, you probably have to make skills. I think that you've done in, I look at CDs, right? And I asked a, a young lady who said me, she's very, very well in the area. And she just listed like her jobs. And I worked with her on so many other projects, right? Where she's on social media, where she's on this project. Your CV is one page. What's all the other stuff? It's like, right? So all these free things that she's done, like you know, help me with stuff. Like, oh, you need to put all that stuff there because that shows that you know you've got the capability. So I was just hijacked the microphone. No, hijacked. So it's good. You came in at the right moment. One of the things I did was I thought I was going to download the video, and then I said, ah, but. Uh, the name again, Ethel. Yes, I said Ethel is here. Why should I do that? When we have our own, our own people who are doing this kind of stuff already. So that's fantastic. So your problem is solved. Oh, so what are you going to do? Okay. But what about for the specific bookkeeping things? I've done bookkeeping for people. You have? Okay, you've got lots of stuff. So I, I don't know what the problem was there. This one has the script. Coca Cola, I've done some this. That's when they think that you're credible or you do the job. If I mentioned I've done bookkeeping for a fashion house called Asimov, nobody knows. Okay, okay. So, now I see where you're coming from. So, 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 yes. So, it depends on who. Okay. So, what we're talking about is that, yes. So, you, you broke it through the first paragraph where you've done the work. But the truth is, they don't know who you've done the work for. So, again, this is also very important. They say that in six degrees, you can contact anybody. Somebody to somebody to somebody to somebody. So, Afro Moore knows somebody who knows somebody who knows that guy. Yes, so that's how you have to connect. Anyways, you know, I do that a lot. That is, I walk straight into offices. And I said, the Ghanaian environment, I was always crazy when I say this. I don't take an appointment. I don't, you know, yes, I don't make an appointment. I, I don't, you know, go in the diary. I don't say I'm coming. I just walk in. Of course, the danger is that the person is not there. But of course, the other side in the Ghanaian run, even when you set up the point and everything, you get there, they're still not there. Yeah, yeah so, so, so what's the point? So when you are doing those kinds of things, that means that you know the person, or you know somebody who knows the person, or the person knows that you've been somewhere, and, and that's how the door will get open. And sometimes when I go into offices, I used to do that when I was much younger. I just walk down the corridors. Uh, because of course I don't see here that everything. I invariably meet somebody and they'll tell me about something. And this is the person. And once this person does the reference for you, it's okay. Otherwise, it, it, it's not going to work. But that's one way to work. A track record. So you need to do a bit of work there. So sometimes of all the things that I'm saying, since you are in the business, maybe you really need to work on the track record. 
because that is what we are facing. We need to work on that one. Maybe we'll have a session, maybe we can chat about that one. We can do those things as well. Okay. Any more? Or everybody's great. Yeah, uh -huh. I wanted to add that sometimes, even though the company yeah. helps, even though the company is very small, profiling the company also helps. So if Apple Mall has done something for President Mahama or something, has soon a dress for somebody, a celebrity or something, it shows credibility that that company, even though the company is small, the company has done something. So just a little bit profile about that's completely profile. Okay, good. Now on to the human resource side of things. I'm not hearing just before on the marketing side, I didn't hear anybody have actual tech. Anybody's actually developing an app or anything. So I I, I, I left that out. You know. This was not meant to be No, no, I had tech women in. Yeah, so I was so no, it's okay. So I'm just saying I'm going on. You know, I had something for uh for the tech people. So we'll just move yeah, on. Okay. Yeah. I know you the two of you are here. <laughs> I, I know the two of you are here. But again, I know mobile web, isn't it? Yeah. Ghana and Neo can have been coming over there and so on oh. and so forth. Yeah, so that's my connection of class. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm aware of that one as well. So I believe you're doing great. Okay. I was asking you how you're doing on HR. Staffing seems a difficult thing here. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know how you are managing, how you're gonna get people staff. But it looks like she's going to solve your problem for me and getting stuck. I don't know how you do that one, frankly. And you can solve, you, you can be the staff sometimes. Okay. Um, training. No, no, I think my, my big idea, again, do I have credibility on that one? No, I haven't done that one. It's with a lot of people, I believe the training you need is not the kind of training I give. It should be on the job. It should be on the job. And the people should prove that they can do it and tell you that they'd be willing to do it. Because they want everybody to do everything you tell them to do. So they want they must do everything they tell you to do. Otherwise, tell them, oh, thank you, I don't think this job is for you. Goodbye. The next step you need to take most entrepreneurs or people I find don't do this, they should write those things down. Every single thing the person does. Maybe they sweep, maybe they wipe, maybe they clean before they do what they're supposed to do. And when they finish, they must wash, they must this, they must do that. It needs to be written down. Are you saying a training manual? No, I didn't say a training manual. I am saying, no, I'm saying hello. So I'm putting, no, no. All those things you should have job description, etc., etc. You should have it. But I'm saying something different for the Ghanaian environment. I'm saying that one, getting people is difficult. Two, the training, I do a lot of training. The training I give is not the kind of training you should be doing. You should be on the job. That is, when you come in, you do this, you do that, you do all the rest, you know, before you serve my smoothies, you should wear your gloves and so on. I hope you all with me. So many things. Then, the next step after that is that it should be written down so that there is no ambiguity of it. What you should do, when you should do, how you should do, if you should do. Everything should be written. This Ghanaian environment it should be written down because place after place after I go, place after I go, the staffing side is just a nightmare. So let me give you one of my nightmare stories. She, she was into recruiting, so she gets staff for people, and she's getting the staff for the people. So she calls the day before. Yeah, there's this interview coming up. No, I'll do your telephone thing. So come up and you're going to be well uh, with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. She, she's done everything with her, everything she's done this. So now she has to turn up the uh, customers or clients kids. So then um, yeah, so she's just running out the day for the day comes, she I think she's going. Then she gets a call from the this thing from the client that, okay, this person is supposed to be coming. So she calls back. That is, the person, the staff is expecting to go there. You know this morning, you know this time, this thing. Everything's fine. It's time, she's not there. Or the person who's supposed to be there is not there. So then, of course, she's panicked. And then she brings the one who's supposed to go for this interview at the time. It's time. 
Oh, I'm not sure I'm interested in the job. This is my horror story. Of course, next effect, this entrepreneur left this recruitment business. I just couldn't believe what else can you do? Because in my view, she had done everything she needed to do. All you had to say the day before was, you know, I'm not really interested, I don't think I want to do it. And like, normally you have a number of people on the list, you will just quickly substitute somebody for the thing. But the best thing was, yes, 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 until the very hour. I mean, personally, I don't understand that. <laughs> and I think in Ghana we have a gap, which we don't recognize. You know, there are two different sets of people. I mean, some of us, yes, that's part of going outside. You've been outside and you're here. Some of us have been here throughout. Mm -hmm. But there's, you know, there's a certain thing you understand the way things should be done. And there are others who don't understand. So sometimes I do talk to some of these people. Why did you go to work? Oh, I was sick. So did you tell your boss, hmm, I should have done that to you. <laughs> Hello? No, we are in a different world altogether. We are two different worlds. Uh, somebody calls it what? Between the, what is it? Is it the airport and the Lima, you know? I'm not being derogatory. I'm just trying to tell you, they are two different worlds, and they are very different. And if you recognize that, it will help you. You will learn this anywhere. Don't tell me any textbook. Don't tell me. But these are the facts I've seen on the ground, and it's. I just find it incredible. But I, 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 I can work around it. Yes. But sometimes you can't really tell that that person is going to be like that. So it, I feel like you have to patch up that everyone slowly come out with the, the, the kind of answer you want. Like, okay, I don't need. I don't want this job. You have to sit down with the person and talk to the person. My experience just two weeks. I, I hired somebody to come and join our sewing team. And for six months, she didn't produce even one garment because um, my, production, my production manager can say she's not ready, she's not good, like she, she, there's something up. So I sat down with her and I said, Is this something you really want? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did this for an hour, so she said, No, her heart is in hairdressing. So this is after I went to the Yes. Wow. Because, you know, and you kept the it's, Because yeah. it's a social enterprise. <laughs> it's a uh, project of social, social enterprise. We work with artists and people. And these are two girls who came from a very poor background, went through training, and this was an opportunity for them. One is excelling, but the other one just wasn't picking up. And I thought, oh, let me try, let me try. You know. But I had to sit down with her and borderline harassment. Like, are you sure? Are you sure? So she told me, no, I want to do everything. So you can you can never really tell these people. So I don't, I'm not really sure how what this is I, I just think you are so patient. You yeah. are great. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't you know I wouldn't spend seconds with these people. Sorry. Yes, I, I want to help, but you know, in seconds, if you pick up fine, if you don't pick up, don't fine. Okay, so I'm involved in what? You said I'll tell you about Linux, so I won't. I am here. I'm involved in Linux Surprise user group, and we we do it's just a user group for those who want to use Linux. And people come around, you know, and some people are fantastic. I mean, I would even say they're the best in Ghana today. But others, it's okay, you can continue to come. I'll just bother with you again. You know, and you see it virtually the first meeting. I had this one guy. He actually scrapped all his windows of his machine and put on Fedora. I mean, I don't do that. I have dual boot. Again, my windows is there. I don't use it. I don't think you can use it. I use my Linux stuff. But at least I have the He just took it off. This is the first time person. And then this other thing, you know, he could do his music and his movie. So he scrapped this one again and he moved to Mandarin at those days. I mean, this guy is definitely prime time. Others come and, you know, you have to push them before they do something. You have to push them before they do something. After a while, I don't push you. Again. You know. So I'm, I know, I do it in seconds. Either I'm with you or okay, fine, forget it. I just want to touch up on what we're doing here. So did you hire this lady that came your team? Was it you that hired this lady? As in, like, did I interview her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
who should be dropped as a candidate and just based on whatever signs, you know? So I just wanted to... Okay, I need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's tough. It's hard. But I, I, I saw a question in the emails. So, I don't test I don't do a big test, right? But I've been quite successful in my career. Right? So my, my dad would say, you did good in school, then the, 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 I did my big exam, and you're like, okay. Then, but I made it through secondary school, then my big exam in secondary school, she's like, go like, ah, right? Because I don't do well with big exams, right? I do well in university first. It was, um, my, my master's degree, it was like, when I got my master's degree, I was like, suck it, right? And <laughs> this is like, it was, three weeks in the classroom, three weeks actually going to do, actually build stuff, things so that I'm doing, right? Now, my initial problem when I started out, career-wise, was I get, like, you would see my I'm getting right in a cocktail and grab and then there would be something your initial, like, psychometric, whatever, logic, and I would never made it past, right? Never made it past. I was saying something the other day, I was asked to um, speak to the, to the women in the cocktail and grab uh, here my first thing I suppose, I applied to Dr. and Dumbo over and over and over again. And I feel a sense of like, uh, you know, I feel like, yeah, I'm here to speak to you. Yeah, no, and I did. But my, my problem with that is for people like me, I had a, like earlier in my career, I had so much problem getting jobs because again the viral HR was like, okay, you're entry level, go to do these tests. And I I could never pass these tests. So I don't know. I just I feel like and I feel like a lot of intelligent people that are doing have that have this masters, but they're like barriers that just don't so there isn't a human face, right? Or if you start with me, like you start with me for an hour and be like, yes, I will to hire But if I have to do a test, then I have this challenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's your question to the HR? Yes. 
So it's not great from the job center point of view. And for us as entrepreneurs, well, it's, I think it's a warning. It's a warning. It's a You don't have a problem from if you're looking for a job. And I think that tells comment was more like a job. Which was looking for what? How do you get over the barrier? That's a different conversation. But I thought you would be thinking about how to do it. So we are not looking at that angle, you're right. You should be looking at how do you start. And so to look at how do you start, you must consider competency. At some point, psychometric tests might help. If the job is very technical, it depends. The job was very technical, but anyway. So yeah. thanks, uh, that's great. So let's take this one and then we'll go I can't get it, sorry. It might have cost a comment to reference the initial. Okay, I think when we come to Africa, it comes to staffing, we just got a lot of people in the social grounds of what to be an impact. So let's just hire somebody. As opposed to actually finding somebody who serves it. I feel like I read a quote somewhere that not everybody can help me serve it. And I had to go to the family. The first guy I worked with was like this really talented guy, and I met him, he was homeless. He had a place to sleep, so I said, Listen, I'll pay you a one year rent and get it to a contract with you. You're going to work with me for or whatever it is to pay back your rent, I'll pay you one week. And first one week it was great, two weeks was great, then he started slashing. Not customer for me. I don't know how the rest think about it, but for me, it's not customer. I'm just telling you what individuals do, and some people do, some people do their hamper, some people do their stuff. I'm not very good at those things, so you know, um, as much as possible. I mean, I was in the consulting area, so um, it can be very profitable sometimes. We pay people quite well, and I think that will bring the results in this thing. But it's not like that in any areas, so, so, so that's the and finally, of course, keeping people as well. That's the other difficult area. That's why I call the maintenance and retention. And that's a very difficult area. Um, I think the important thing is that people are really interested in what they are doing. We really love working with you and so on. Because of the low moments and the high moments. That's what we're really doing. The small business side. The small business side can be very difficult. Because basically, what you're doing is training the people. And once you train them, <laughs> so sometimes that incentive for growth. If you grow and you have big guys, you make people more prospect. They are likely to 
to stay. Um, sometimes we are seen it's um, if the people have really learned the job, if they are loyal, I think you should allow them to grow by giving them more responsibility. That is where owners find it very difficult. Always done this, I've always done this this way, yeah. and it's very difficult to let somebody take something up. And unfortunately, they can kill the business. I've seen it too many times, especially on the, what is it, on the nutrition, the catering side. You can see this person has been there for such a long time. Let the person take over some of the stuff, you know. But still, you are giving instructions like you gave instructions. And she now knows how you want it done, where you want it done. So let the person take over, relax a bit, maybe, put up your feet a little bit, so work on getting the clients and the business and so on. But sometimes people find that very difficult to do. So that's the only thing I can tell you. Early days. Okay. Uh, where do you go next? Ah, finance, the money side. What the business people think it's all about the money? Mm. So somewhere, is it? <laughs> when I say it's all about the money, of course you want to make your profits. Okay? I'm not saying you don't have to make your profits. Of course your balance sheet must look good. Of course you need to watch your cash flow. If you run out of cash, the business may be just dead. But some of the other things may be networking. You know, networking. You know. Some people don't like the networking. You know, like maybe the networking. You know, maybe your PA may be good at that. I don't know. Just the network. Um, I knew some ladies, they had their own architectural firm. One person was good at the network. But the other person just wanted to be in the office and do the drawing and do those kinds of things. I think somehow they didn't understand each other too well with that. Because the other person, I'm doing all the work since I'm bringing all the contracts. But they didn't see that there are two sides of the business. Somebody needs to do the networking in case you don't like the networking. But the networking is so, so important because that brings in the business and of course, the cash flows and along with that and so on and so forth. Because in my line of work, you get what they call mobilization. That is, before you start the work, you are giving some money so that you start. And I became a very hard one of that. In fact, when I was working with somebody, we did a good cop, bad cop. The other guy is a good cop. Oh, we need to start that work. Said, no, no, no. No money, no work yet. <laughs> that kind of stuff. And it was terrible. The guy says, hey, me? I think we said, give me this money. Who's that? I said, no, we will to start. You know? But it, it was very important to put pressure on them to pay. I mean, that's the other important part. Otherwise, you get bills which are not paid, you've done the work, and so on and so forth. And now, so this was the situation where Somebody was paying actually 90% of the cost. But uh, the, the, the beneficiary, the entrepreneur, had only to pay 10%. And the entrepreneur had paid this 10%, and in mind the pressure they were highly on this organization to pay up the money. You know, so you need to watch some of these things as well. Very important. The money side of things. The bookkeeping side of things. And I believe that one has been sorted out for you. Yes. So networking for me is really the important thing. I mean, all of you are getting to know each other and so on. I mean, it should be really fantastic on those sides. Everybody has some profit and loss, I'm sure. Your balance sheet and so on. So I think we can leave that. Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry. No. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. No, it's okay. Um, I'm curious about, yeah, about cash flow. Mm -hmm. So I have been working full time on <laughs> So that supplements my cash flow on that problem. Now that I want to do it full time, how, how do you determine how much cash you should have? Okay. The other thing I have is about uh, your capital. So you have two kinds of capital. The one, okay, when I'm talking about capital, they are talking actually about equity. And when I'm saying private capital, like it could be dead, but these days they are like I took the around a lot of things. But basically, your owner's capital, that's what I'm talking about. It's reflected on the equipment and things you have. But the other side of it is actually how much cash you have. And a quick way of doing it is your, uh, your receivables minus your payouts. Okay? That's an easy way. Am I right? The, the accountant is here, so she can tell you all about it. So, um, the idea actually is that 
you have a certain idea of how much you would leave out. I mean, I've sold some goods, and you know how much time that it will take for you to get the money back. Or maybe you only do it by cash. And then uh, you, you need to buy lots of raw materials and things and put it in there. So you need to do all those numbers, you know. And I said, give me a You need to do all those numbers. I hope everybody's with you. You need to do all numbers. It's not, it's not just the equipment that you have and things, but just what you're going to survive on. Perhaps you might look at your uh, environmental budgeting, right? And so the budgeting should not be just for the whole year, it should be for a number of months. Are you with me? Salaries, uh, raw materials, and this. And so, if you've done it for the whole year, you might say the turnaround is maybe three months. So, if you multiply whatever your expenses are, this is rule of the thumb by three, and you are in business in terms of your cash flow. But you need to watch that thing very carefully. Because that was, that's what can kill the business, not really whether you're making a profit or not. Because you're not making most of profit on paper, and the cash is not. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, so I thought the last question was a good one. Even though it's social enterprise, you say you are working with how much net profit you require to compensate for the additional work and stress of running your own business. Sometimes you need to think about that. Because you could wait, you could be waiting for someone. Well, eight to five, you close. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now it's a 24 hour business. So you need to think about that one. Okay. So your operations. Most of us are focused on what we actually do. Uh, sorry, you are into so e-commerce. Okay, the website now that goes into it. The cooking, the books, the I don't know. What are you doing? You said you are let me see your work on yes. Yes, melt water. Okay, okay. Whatever those activities are there, you know, making the detergent, whatever it is, we are focused on that, but we should be focused on the other side as well. Remember I said the marketing, the, you know, the, 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 the staffing, because that can be a problem in your finances as well. Okay, so that's a quick roundup. If you could actually get all the points under this, you don't mind presto, you have a business plan in front of you. If you could have gotten all those points there, I'm not sure how far we got, but then if you have any questions, maybe we can take the questions now. If not, maybe you'll have to complete the assignments I gave you. I said as you go along, they should note certain points. Yes. Is it time? Well, not yet. Not quite. Oh, okay. Is it possible to, to help them draw up a table? Let's say, let me put that as an assignment, right? Let's draw up a table that will help you easily put your business plan together. Okay, so they've got their table already. The well, they've got their points. There are four points. They are what? Marketing, human resource. Your finance and your operations. We've got the four points. And the marketing asked me for what? What's yours? Hello, let me just stop for a second. What's yours? Business services. Product selling online. Okay. What? Cooking local food. So the food is the is the business. Cook local food if you like. Yeah. The cooking is what? So operations, so operations side, yes. Bookkeeping services, training services, what? Books, yes. Marketing. Marketing. I told you, you got it all done here. E-commerce. Still selling the stuff online. E-commerce. So it's actually the stuff you are selling online. Ah uh, no, those are quality designed products. That's your this thing. That's your product. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you know, actually, I was being a little jealous and said, Well, I'm not a bad man, what about us? Because I like my career, but I'm saying, We'll get there. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. So, yours is just the detailing. Simple, that's a simple one that we can deal with. We don't have a time with it. You are yours is still the training. Good. So, you can go away, you can go down there. So, you should have four points on it. 
first the product, next the price, how you are getting it out of the distribution place, like, and then finally, how you tend to promote it. You should have at least four points. Everybody should have at least four points. Is that okay? Good. Then next we come to the, uh, the human resource staff. You are four members of staff. You have some members of staff. You have not members of staff. Are you okay on the staff here? Okay? So you should have something there for me. Is everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Then the next thing is the what? After starting, after starting, is the training. Yes, it's training. Under staff, and then there's under new resource, there are four points. So how's the training going on that one? Oh, you don't need to train anyone. On the job. On the job. I said on the job training. But what exactly do you intend to do? Because if you just put the on the job, I mean, I want you to do something. What exactly do you intend to do? Do you need to train these four members of staff you have? Or do you need to train one of them? Or they're okay? Or do you need to develop them further? There's always something more to do there. I believe yeah. you need to have something there for me as well. Even if you are just one person, are you, are you going to preserve ways in which you're going to upgrade your own skills and so on and so forth? Is that something that you're going to do? That's also important. So you need to have something there. And I said motivation. How are you motivating your people? You know, I, my, my perfect example is always whenever you walk into any corporate this thing or into a hotel or something, you see an employee's name or a number of them. What do they have there? Employee of the week, employee of the month, employee of the year. What are you going to do to motivate your people? You must put something down. Very, very important. Then finally, is retaining your people. I'm not sure how long it's been. But the example, sorry, the example I gave was sometimes when you need to give more responsibility. Some people don't want it, by the way. So you don't want to, don't give it to them, you know, you don't want to drive them away because they actually do more, they do more work. But some people, I think that's what they need. They've been with the organization for some time and so on. There's nothing being done to the state in the organization. Um, I don't know, people have different needs. So then it involves, like you said, a lot of interviews, you find it closely. It's just a little something and that changes the whole picture. Yeah. So that's the human resources done. And the finance side, your issue was the cash flow. So, you know, whether you, you do some little calculations and say, these are my expenses, multiply them by, I said three, as just the you know, rule of the thumb, and this is how my cash flow should be. I should have that amount of cash there. And I know that once that is cycling well, I'm in business. Otherwise, I know things are not going as they need to go. Yes. Budgeting. If I should have started the budget is the best thing that you will do this that I'm talking about. Uh, profit and loss, what's that one to like? It's important. So if you do these numbers, like what? Well, who should you take this one? Your detergent. That's a very easy one. Yes? So I'm giving you the product. Could you give me the word? Next step. Price. The price. Yes. Um, okay, good. Um, so let me say, I don't know what the prices are, so let me just say something. A packet of detergent is five cents. So you are selling uh, what? Um, 20 packets, that is 100 cents. Okay, on the finance side, I mean, you know how much it costs to make that, um, what is it? Those 20 packets. Say it's, uh, uh, what, what did I say? 100 cities. Say it's 40 cities. So your profit at least on that one is 60. Quick calculations. I need everybody with me. I need to see some profit and loss something over there. You know, so that I need that you know we are making profit. Just some quick calculations like that. I don't think that's the you can do it for me, I'll be very happy. So that your price is, I said you what, your price is five. Yes. Your items are 20, mm -hmm. total of 100. Well, some people don't have any paper. Wow. <laughs> your items are 20, that's 100. Your costs are 40, so your profit is 60. Oh, yes. I know there should be salaries, there should be this. No, no, the thing is more complex. You can't do that. All here in is it one hour? I don't know how much time we've been spending here. For me, it's gone very fast. Huh? 
But you know how long you spent here, you can't do that. When I, I, told, I told you I told you there, what did I tell you? I told her 10 to 4. Eh? <laughs> and I imagine that I will spend a lot of the time with you. And if I spend most of the time with you, then we can, we can drill down. But as it is, I just want to give you a feel, a taste of the kinds of stuff you should be thinking about. Okay. Then is the balance, balance of the country. And that shows you by, let's say, up to now, over all the years, how well can I do it? So that one can count me. I think the cash flow can count me. I just need one or two points over there so that you all have to. And finally, is your operations. I don't know how long it takes. Is anybody doing sewing? Is that in here? Like the sewing and so on and so forth. Your, I mean, yours tends to be easy. Your raw material that you buy from the north, I don't know. Then your your machine, your this thing, and then the sewing and so on. I don't know how much you do. So some quick four bullet points in the what you are doing. Yours again, I don't know. You buy the fruits, you buy this, those are your own things. So some of them are very easy to do. With the e-commerce people, I'm not so sure. I have e-commerce here and e-commerce here. Hello? Yes. Not most of the time, what is it about? For a website about the content, what you are putting on the website. You know, those are the kinds of things. What are the content? But like I told you, the real big issue as I see is the logistics. How you get the, the products to the customer. Yeah. I see that as big, big, big. What? Is that the big problem? Is it? The most thing I've ever seen as anything big. I'm sure they'll know. I see very cheap things out there. I see very cheap things out there, but it depends on what you want to go along with it. You need some heavy database, it's going to cost you a lot of money to run with it. But posting the website itself is not so expensive. You haven't time to actually build a website. What? Also, buy the website. Okay, so what I'm saying is that content. I understand building the website about being the content. Yeah. Because build the website, home page, products, well, I don't know. <laughs> about uh, something yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, so that's two of you. So you have to work this thing. Yeah. So I, I think that one is for me easy. But the content you're going to put on there is the real issue. And then on the next level is the database running the whole thing. That is you have to be careful about that. Because maybe some MySQL and open source stuff will do the trick, but I don't know. Okay, so so I said first the website, not much of an issue. The content I say is an issue. The database may be an issue. The logistics. So remember again, I'm giving you your four points, may be an issue. And for me, the killer of it all is payment. How do we pay? I don't know. For me, that problem has still not been solved. Yeah. That's one of the things I look at. How do we pay? One of course the big things these days is mobile money. Yeah. I don't know whether it's working. I don't know how it's working. I don't say it isn't working. I say I don't know. I don't know how. You know, I've tried it myself before. Instead of um, going to give some money in that someone, you know, I'm this part of the crowd, a lot of traffic, just doing through mobile money, but you know, you have to go to a shop and try and put in your money and then bring the person and tell the person to take another thing. I you know they they have a credit card, but it just uh you know, sounds a little bit complicated to me, but that's uh -huh. So I'm just saying that uh, identification that I do and improving uh empower Okay, so tell me how does Empower work? Yeah. No, you see, my thing is that if I am uh, using a credit card as I know it, you just go to the site, enter the credit card. Yes, the so you can do Empower, I mentioned before, they will link it to your bank account. Bank account. Yes. Okay, so any bank account. Good. So when the people are paying you, how do they pay? So they must be on Empower as well. Yes. Ah, so that's And they have that mobile payment. On, on, on the 
you know, I mean, the reason why credit cards took off is that they were lucrative. I'm talking about Visa Mastercard. But people don't realize that before Mr. Uh, Visa Mastercard was American Express, and they were a little more exclusive. They don't want everybody. <laughs> yes. And even before that was Danex. So I, I, I follow the trend in all these things. But Visa Mastercard is now for everybody. And that's what makes it very easy to do transactions. But these other things are also there. So I'm not sure how we sort of link up with people and empower all these guys. And so, no, no, so that they are all around. It's not a big ask. So I do use the mobile money sometimes. But really, I find it not as convenient with that kind of stuff. Yes, I mean, I do. But because I have to pay in first. Like, I'm just looking at a card. I don't pay in another. I just click in my numbers and I'm done. Because you need to be careful. You know, your pay number doesn't take around. They charge you double and so on and so on. That's why I don't like the big cards. A credit card because with a credit card you can always reverse the transactions with yeah. so debit card. It's debit your card. Yeah. So you need to be very careful. Anyway, that, that's just some of the issues that I'm saying. That's Those payment, but there is something called express pay. I think we've been yesterday, but yes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were to that. So there's express pay where you can use your card. Um, Get payment on the website, or you can also use your card to pay for utilities, recharge cards, and rewards. Yes. Express pay is a particular kind of card. No, it's a platform. 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 It's a
learn something, something really awesome uh, about apps that you can use. Okay, are we ready for that? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do a little exercise. I think we can see. Yeah. And uh, shall we please do a little game that I learned uh, at a recent tech event? We organized tech conference in West Africa, and someone told me because I agree. But I need all of you to participate um, because it measures uh, your, your attention, your level of attention. I know you are tired, but that's the whole point. Okay, so I will give some instructions. And some will be, I will start by saying master says. Others, I will Now, it's for you to detect and obey what master says, not what I say. You get it? Yeah. All right. So, for example, Master says clap. You clap. Master says sit. You sit. <laughs> and then Master says start. You start. That's how it works, right? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Master says clap. Master says clap. Master says sit. You start. Thank <laughs> you. 
to see that somebody makes a change to the business yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. And also, I'm not sure if everybody will use it, but doodle.com, if you've got if the plan is meeting, if you've got loads, if you can participate. And you don't really need you know, a really long term, it's available when just set up a trailer, put it in, you select the date and time, you can just check the so it's good to network and to meet together like this. We have programs or workshops like those here and we can learn from each other. Now, in an organization, you can be considered maybe a leader who is together. Luckily, you know, this is the should have. So we can have the various departments. But today we are handling everything because we are the CEO, we are the marketing managers, and everything finance and sales and supply chain production all doing all this at the same time. So it's very important that we have tools that can help us run all these aspects of the business. So now we take admin. Which apps are we using or we think we will use to support our team? We have already talked about the two letters. We have talked about the two letters. And for us business people, we 
we have very little resources. We need to manage our resources very well. Teachers, we have developed a memory of your device. Like having fun. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.
to the important invoice professional. I think the good thing is that you are able to do this on the go. That is the emphasis. So if I'm here and I need to send an invoice to someone, someone just call me, can I have the invoice now? Because my manager is sitting in front of me. I don't have an laptop, I don't have anything. What do I do? So I think that as business women, we should, we should get used to the type of Download this app, immediately go to your email, and then make changes, and then you can be here immediately and send it to the customer. And so if you've saved so much time, don't worry. Do you have any internet to appear around? Where can I get like that alone? That we are so anxious and anxiety alone could kill me before. <laughs> yes, like if every like every month you have to be running around getting yourself worried about this, let's get to the tech world. So in ways to go, I think it's perfect. Like another time, someone I sent a document, I had to sign it, and then I said, I was in town, always roaming around. So, how did I send that and get it to the person right now? So, I downloaded an app called Easy Time. I was able to easily edit it and everything. I sent it and sent it to the person. I said, Wow, this is great. You're living in a new world. <laughs> I was so happy. And I'm glad that I got the opportunity to know about some of this app. So, Good. As we apply these apps, it also enables us to be with our young girls coming up to also be creative, come up with ideas. Especially when we are within the same gender, we are able to fit ourselves into the shoes of others and then we able to come up with ideas and make apps that can help us with our businesses. I think that it's also how the young ones can be up and can be younger. Yes. Yes. For those of us who have to travel a lot, Rita was saying yes, we might have to go to Glasgow. So, Tip it that actually organize your trips for you, your, your itinerary. That's if your business requires that you move around a lot. You can use Tip it to organize your trips. <laughs> so, if you are going by air, you know your airline, you have to talk to him, so then all that will be managed by him. So then you have to go. The next two years, you can do that. Okay. Yes. 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 So for us, we may just ask in the kitchen. Now, the, I'd say more or less we have a lot of technological equipment or gadgets that we use in the kitchen. That makes life very simple. You get to the kitchen and food is within a matter of seconds or minutes, few minutes. Food is ready. That's the way I say it. Yeah, no, you are more efficient. My mom tells me, oh, but maybe it's up to date. Everything that we're thinking of baby from head to toe is those days we used to watch all of that. I'm not in that era. I can't know what I mean. I'm not saying that. It makes us more efficient. There's one for the businessman, it's called Business Map. Okay. An app. It's an app, yes. Okay. While he was talking about the businessman, I said, I'll make sure there's a good habit to see. It's called Businessman. You go into the place where you find it. Keep sense. Mobile intelligence. We need to know what's happening in our area of business. We should be able to tell what's happening in the industry. Bigger and uh, so you know what is happening and how your business is going. So then you are pressing um, contemporary times, what is happening, and then it can also strategically help you with what you do to do the business or to improve the business. So, in terms of your orders and then also your expenses, your customers, building. All that is being done 